it can be very challenging to deal with hoovering as it's very personal and mostly the behavior of a narcissist is based on their knowledge of your triggers and emotions. I'm sorry if you're experiencing hoovering or have experienced any of this and I hope this video can provide some helpful insights to you. I will go deeper into the challenge of being hoovered and how to possibly deal with it. I like to emphasize that this video is only my point of view and I try to speak from a place of compassion in order to hopefully be helpful to you. Hoovering is a narcissist trying to trick or bait you into breaking no contact and re-engaging with them. After a breakup or going no contact, a narcissist might try to suck you back into the abusive relationship in order to gain narcissistic supply. If they succeed, the consequence is being sucked back into a cycle of abuse. Therefore, I think it's essential to learn about hoovering in order to recognize and decide how to deal with it. In my other video, I go deeper into 10 examples of hoovering tactics of a narcissist. I recommend watching that in order to see the variety of hoovering and to better recognize it. Now, in general, the way to deal with hoovering is to not engage. And if not possible to fully go no contact, it is then to limit contact to only necessary non-emotional interaction in the most distant form possible. Knowing this, however, doesn't change the challenge of hoovering. Therefore, I'll try to go into why hoovering is so challenging. First of all, there is a difference between the words of a narcissist and their long-term actions. This is a core sign of a narcissist. In the Hoover attempt, they could state declarations of love and at the same time Hoover others and search for more narcissistic supply. A narcissist doesn't have the intention to really work things out or to work on themselves. There won't be any real change on a deeper emotional level. They will try to use methods you seem most sensitive for and also abuse your positive qualities such as kindness, love, belief or hope. Sadly, responding to hoovering will be opening a door for more emotional abuse. If you are sensitive to helping others, they might use the method that they aren't doing well or they need help. If you have a weakness for feeling loved, they will try to love bump you and say that they have changed. Is this all very personal? Therefore, remember it's all manipulation based on their knowledge of your triggers, emotions and weaknesses, and they will abuse their knowledge. Clearly, it's brutal and manipulative behavior. It's simply not sincere and there's only emptiness in the world of ego. They won't change their actions once they have successfully hoovered you. A hoover will just never be what you might hope it will be. You will be back in the same abusive or unequal situation and probably lose a bit more of yourself every time. I will now go into some examples of how hoovering attempts could trigger you. Hoovering is customized by their knowledge of your emotional vulnerabilities. They know what you care about and what your triggers are. This is what makes it so challenging. Sadly, they have no boundaries in what they will do to get your attention again. Some examples of how they could trigger you by their hoovering attempts are your hope in someone being able to change or the belief that this person can change or be helped. Clearly, you want the person you love to be helped and possibly rescue them. A narcissist will try to abuse this hope. Another example is your denial of what's really going on. It's normal you want to deny what happened because accepting it seems very brutal and makes it definitive. You might feel like you will lose the time you had or the good times in the love bombing phase. It can be cruel to accept that this was not real but conditional love and thus also a form of manipulation. Other examples are you being a sweet, good and empathic person, your wish to be loved, loneliness or a fear of abandonment. You might mistake conditional love for unconditional love. Your guilt, fear, anxiety, lack of self-love or shame. You might doubt or fear whether you can take care of yourself and therefore feel like you need their support. You feeling an obligation or responsibility towards them. 
This could be that you desperately want to make the relationship work. And lastly, you wanting something such as revenge, an apology, closure, or possibly simply show you're doing great without them and that you have moved on. You could also want to explain or justify yourself. It's a form of not being able to let go and therefore attachment remains. Now, from all these examples, it becomes clear we need to realize true emotional detachment from the narcissist. If we can detach, there will be no more emotional hooks they can try to use. In a twisted way, they force you to work on yourself. If you are able to shift your attention to yourself and you sincerely don't care about a narcissist anymore, you will have control over your life. You just always have this control. It's very important to remember hoovering is a game of manipulation and every attempt is a manipulation technique. Decide not to play the game. It's easy to say to have no contact with a narcissist, but actually succeeding can be very difficult. The hoovering can go to extremes and you might question whether it will ever stop. You might feel like you won't survive. It does can require a lot of strength and courage. No, you will get there and you are strong enough. Now, these are some things that you need to know and recognize when being hoovered. 1. Realize your health is at risk because it's a very unhealthy situation. It can be both mentally and physically unsafe and unhealthy. 2. Understand and try to accept there won't be closure, an apology, an explanation or a peaceful ending. 3. It doesn't matter what you do or whether you change. You can't do anything differently because it will never be enough to fulfill the unending needs of a narcissist. There is no such thing as having to earn love as true love should be unconditional. 4. No, the love bombing stage is not real unconditional love. Idealization is empty. 5. It's a waste of time to try to prove something to a narcissist. There is no reasoning or normal communication. There is no underlying authenticity or foundation to build a deeper connection. And lastly, their behavior is not about you, it's about them. You are not responsible for the behavior of others. Don't take this responsibility. Now, in my opinion, the best way to deal with hoovering would be to not get sucked back in and not re-engage. Work on emotional detachment and learn about your triggers. A narcissist stops hoovering when they have no doubt about the fact that they will not get any narcissistic supply from you. Block them, stay no contact and focus on yourself. It's important not to blame yourself if you have been hoovered back in and find out nothing has changed. Try to see why you were triggered and learn from it. You will become stronger and simply try it again with more certainty. To conquer the hoovering attempts and not engage, you could write down why you ended the relationship and the unhealthy dynamics that were involved. It can be helpful to write down a list of all the bad and draining experiences you had with this person. In my opinion, it can also be useful to ask yourself good and honest questions about the situation. I like to share some questions here that I think can be useful. 1. Does this person want me to develop, have kind thoughts about myself and wants me to become more confident? 2. Does this person make me less doubtful or did I feel more confused or a need to work harder on the relationship? 3. Did I feel it was loving and effortless, or that I needed to change myself more and more to make it work? 4. Does my intuition tell me that there is a deeper connection with them, and is this person kind and loving in an unconditional way? 5. Does this person seem to only care about themselves and what I did wrong? 6. Do I feel sincere attention and empathy when this person listens to me? or when I share my feelings. Write the answers down to these questions and you will know when it's an unhealthy situation. No, these are things that won't change. Read your answers every hoover attempt and choose with awareness to not respond. Know within, they don't have control over you anymore. 
you can decide not to engage. Try to shift the attention to yourself again and to be loving, compassionate and kind to yourself. You deserve this. It can be tough to shift the attention to yourself again and I believe conscious breathing or meditation can help with the mental aspect of shifting attention to yourself again. You can learn more about this on my website. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way and I wish you strength and more kindness in the future.